Hey ladies, I'm here today and I'm going to show you my vintage babies. They don't get seen very often, just a couple times a year. And most of them stay in their clothes. I mean, stay in the one outfit that they're in. i change a few of them, but most of them stay in just one outfit. So right now you're looking at Jethro. He is clay, his head and his um, arms and legs are clay and he has a soft body. He's very grumpy. He's made by an unknown artist, and I think he's just adorable. I just love him. He's got a lot of detail for clay. He's completely clay, and he has, um, it's not, I don't think it's a wig. It might be, um, like glued on hair, but it looks very realistic, actually. And he stays in his outfit. His head turns nicely, and he's really snuggly. His body is full of, um, poly pellets. So there's Jethro. He's a big boy. He's about a newborn or zero to three months size. And he poses very nicely. So there he is, little grumpy man. And beside him is the little reproduction of a 1920s doll that I just got. And I'm probably going to keep her for a while. And then I may be giving her away in one of my clothes sales, which I often do sometimes. So she'll be here with us for a while. But she's really cute. Um, and she was made for like a simplicity, the sewing patterns. Um promotion I believe so she's cute she's in her little slip or underwear and got her little boot or little shoes on now right here um I think this is Ash and Drake doll one of my good my friends um gave me a set of them and I decided to keep her and I sold the rest so she's really pretty and she's got her mama's pearls on and she's got a little lace um diaper on and it's purple she's got a gorgeous face She's porcelain and brown eyes. I think I named her Beauty, I believe. Um, it's hard to remember all their names. And this one, I named Victoria. And she is a um, Madame Alexander doll. She's quite old. I think she was made in the 50s, 1950s. And you can see, I think she's so cool. She's very pale skin and her eyes have turned from age. They've turned like an ice cloudy blue, which I think is so cool. Makes her look a little bit, I don't like the word haunted, but makes her look a little um, very vintage and, and mysterious. See, I love her eyes. They're so pretty. And that's her original outfit she came in. And I did get her at a local thrift store. And she's really sweet. Beautiful little girl. Over here, I've showed you um, her before. This is Beloved. I've showed you her before. Um, she's uh, she is a um, I can't remember her name, but she is a certain sculpt. She is really big. She's zero to three months. She has a cloth body and porcelain head and limbs. And I told you the story. She was made by a local elderly gentleman. He painted her and did her eyelashes and did everything, put her together. And I found her at a local um, like a marketplace type outside um i don't want to say they're not garage shells but it's like an antique place but outside um they set up and, and had a nice talk with him and i haven't been able to find him this was some years ago i got this baby i haven't i went back to try to find him a couple years later and i was able to find him but he was a very nice gentleman older gentleman so there she is up here oh goodness and I cannot remember her artist, but she is made by a fairly well-known vinyl um, artist that makes vinyl babies. But she is clay, and she is huge. She's probably six months size. And she's sitting on top of my shelf. And I call her my little Viking baby, Freya, because she, she's real big and husky like a Viking. That's how I would think. I don't know. But she's got blonde hair. And she's completely clay. Well, not completely clay. Her head and limbs are clay also. And um, she has blue eyes, which you can't really see. But she's a big, really big girl. And if I remember her artist, I'll let y'all know. But I can't remember it at the moment. But her artist is on Facebook. And she's fairly well known. She makes vinyl kits. That's what she's known for. This is a little Indian baby that I got from my good neighbor and friend. Some nice colors on her dress. So it's crocheted. This little boy up here, I call him Prince George because he favored Prince George some, I thought. He is 
completely porcelain. I got him at a local thrift shop. I have some wonderful thrift shops here in my um, town. And I just thought he was beautiful. He has um, ice blue eyes and blonde hair. Got him for a ridiculous price. I think it was like $5. It's a really good price. And his little Dumbo is sitting with him. He's real pretty. So we're going to move down to the next shelf. Got this little boy off eBay. I don't even think I ever named him. Oh, I may call him Blue Boy. I can't remember. But he's completely porcelain. And what's unusual about him is he's, he's a full body porcelain. And he's jointed so he moves. But I keep him in this position. He's like a probably a preemie size. Maybe a small newborn. He's really cute. He's got a really pretty face. He's got like these peaky eyes, blue eyes. He's very nicely painted. And so he came with that blanket and an outfit. So he's in his little blue outfit with his booties. And here is, um, y'all may recognize this. This is a clay um, conjoined kitten, conjoined twins. This is um, come see and come sa. It means this and that. And this um, kitten was made by um, Chinza Dawes, Vincenza Care, and I actually spoke with her personally, and she um, uh, did an alteration to this sculpt just for me. She added a second tail, so it, this baby has two tails, or these babies have two tails, and she even helped me name them, come see and come sa, which means this and that in Italian. I asked her for a name suggestion, and there's, that's what she said told me and they're really cute I painted them myself but she sculpted them you can see and they're on their little bed their baby bed there here is Bootsy and I told you the story about Bootsy she was made by the Bootsy Tyner company that made baby boots and shoes and she was like a promotional doll for them and she has original boots for Boots Tyner and these are all her original clothes, and she's really pretty. And I'll move. This is my um, original. You can see the head's turned. My original uh, My Little Pony. She's holding. I just want to show you her head and limbs are porcelain. I think, I think her feet might be cloth. I can't remember, but she's really cute. And there's a long story behind her, her history, but she's a nice baby. She's one of the only African-American ones that was painted like this that I know of. So she's very sweet. I named her Bootsy. And then we're going to move down here. Sorry, I'm going so fast. This is just a doll I got from Walmart. And they have several different types. Some are dressed like, one's a ladybug, I think. They got different ones. And she actually cries, real tears, if you put water in her head. And then she makes, she has batteries. She's just crying noises. And she has a pacifier. So if you don't put her pacifier in or if you take it out, she'll cry. And you can see her real tears come out. Maybe I'll do another video. I did one sometime a couple years ago, I think, on her showing her cry, but I'll do it again later. She's supposed to be a unicorn, if you can't tell. And here are some of my um, very tiny pro-life babies. I did not make these. These are clay. The real small ones are clay. But I do plan to make some soon. I'm going to mold my own. This one was made by Eveline. Evelyn, I think you know her. She makes, she, he's silicone. This one's silicone. I did make this baby, the Caleb sculpt. He's like 13 inches. I painted him. He's a vinyl. And this little porcelain baby I got from my bestie. He's in his crib there, holding his rattle. This baby is dragon skin, silicone. I got this one off eBay. It's a small little pro life baby, too. Uh, so I got this one. This sculpt is a snuggle silicone sculpt. I think it's called Just Born. You can see he's got a she, he's got a really deep mouth. I'm gonna have to remember his name. I can't remember his name. He's very tiny. He's got little ribs. You can see his little ribs showing because he's a I think he's a twenty two week ba two week gestation baby. Like he's in the mama's belly. So I know I rushed through these, but I didn't want to make this video super long. And the last one, I need to do some work on her. She's my oldest baby that I have. I'm going to put some little socks on her to help her feet. She's a composite with a call composite doll. It's almost like, it's a type of material. It's almost like cardboard or um, 
Oh, what's that? I'm trying to think of that little. It's where they make some fur cheap furniture out of, and I can't remember what it's called. Like composite. It was like composite. Anyway, she, um, it, you know, it's cool, showing her age quite a lot. She's from 1920, and I do have. I think her sculpt or doll name is. Um, Oh gosh, what is it? Daisy, I think. Oh, I have it written down, but she's really she's my oldest baby. So she's in quite some bad shape, but I still love her. She's really cute. So I'm gonna put some socks on her to help preserve her feet, because that's where she has the worst wear there. And she has blinky eyes. Like blue blinky eyes. And I am probably gonna repaint her with air dry paints just to touch her up some. But she's a cute little girl. And my mother in law got her at a garage sale for me and mailed her to me because she knows I love babies. So those are all the babies, and then just the bottom here is just some accessories and things. So I just thought I'd show you the vintage babies today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them, and I will be back soon in the next couple of days. Um, I'm excited because I have some silicone supplies coming, and I will be able to pour that big mold I talked to you about, the big boy mold. I'll be able to pour that hopefully this weekend. So just wanted to update you and show you the vintage babies that rarely get shown. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and hope you're blessed. And I pray that you stay safe and be blessed. And I will talk to you soon. And I appreciate each and every one of you.